Hi, I'm Matt Dwyer and today I'm going to talk to you some more about rockabilly guitar playing. I had a request for some more rockabilly lessons, so I thought I'd show you an easy way to play a rockabilly tune in the key of E. Now, a lot of rockabilly tunes are 12 bar blues just played slightly differently. With this particular example, we're going to play in the key of E, so the chords we need are E, and what makes it sound like rockabilly is making an E6 chord, which is a very sweet sounding chord. Now it's just an E, but you put your little finger on the second fret of the B string, which is what makes it an E6. The other two chords are the A7 and the B7. Really simple stuff. And they're all the chords you need to play this particular piece. What I usually do is if I have a flat pick, I'll just put it between my two fingers like that. And that frees up my whole hand. So we've got that six chord there. Now a huge part of the rockabilly sound is that finger pick guitar. Now I grew up listening to blues guys like uh, Mississippi John Hurt, who was a great finger style player. So making that switch from country blues to rockabilly was pretty easy. Uh, there's a certain amount of finger picking involved. That alternate bass thing that you do with your thumb. So you have to practice that for a while. That takes a little while to get used to. So once you get your thumb going, then, then you're playing the top strings with your index finger and your middle finger. I'll slow it down so you can see it a little bit better. So I'll slow it right down so you can see a little bit better. I'm just playing alternate bass with my thumb. And playing the top strings with my index and middle finger. Now that alone is actually a really cool way to play the guitar. Took me a long time to be able to finger pick, but once I learned how to do it, once I got it under my fingers, if you'll forgive the expression, I was a very happy boy. Because I could play like that. So we go from the E to an A, or an A7. So what I'm doing there is taking that G on the high E string off so when I go to the A7 I'll be playing the third fret with my little finger which is the G and then taking it off and playing the open E string That's another thing that takes some practice and some getting used to. So that's the E6 to the A7. Now the last piece of the puzzle is the B7. Now to get the alternate bass there, what we need to do is, there's our B on the A string at the second fret and then we move that over to the F sharp which is the second fret of the E string so
and then you resolve to the E. So I'll go through that one more time. So here's our E with the six. Here's our A7. And this is the B7, alternating the, uh, the B at the root note with an F sharp. Now, I'll put that all together for you into a 12 bar. I'll play it again. Now that's a very simple way of playing a rockabilly tune in the key of E, just using E and E6, A7 and B7. Thanks for watching, my name's Matt Dwyer. I'm going to leave my PayPal details below the screen if you're feeling generous. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Take care now.